if you are owning a salon and working in a salon, you need to be renting and paying money back to the salon. So you need to have yourself paying the salon, the, the salon entity that owns the salon. Okay, that's very important that you need to do that. Number one, that makes sure that your money that is separate. So the money that you're making as you're doing hair, sitting, uh, standing behind that chair, make sure that money is separated from what you're getting from the salon. Therefore, you got your money separated, then you're able to see what's making money and how. You then, you then you're able to see if it's time for you to raise your booth rent on the people in the salon. You got to wear two hats. When you're looking at your books, you got to put on your salon ownership hat. And then when you're doing hair, you put on your stylist hat. It's not that difficult, but for whatever reason, people out there make it uh, very difficult by blending the things together and blending your work together. I would go as far as to let people know, as soon as I walk in the door, if I'm doing hair, I'm a stylist. Don't ask me about the sink being broke. Don't ask me about the dryers not working because I am a stylist at that point. My whole focus is working on the person that's in front of me, working on that head and giving superb service. Now, if you're going to do both, you need to have a schedule in place where at some points you are a salon owner and you're there to do salon work, working on the shop itself, okay? And then you have moments and put stuff in place to where you're a stylist. You cannot be both at the same time because if you try to do both at the same time, you will frustrate your customer. Now, I'm telling you something. Your customer may not tell you that they don't want or may not tell you that they're frustrated about what's going on in the salon and you being busy but they like their hair getting done by you, but that does not mean that they're not frustrated sitting in that chair. Now imagine what they will tell other people out there. They say, yeah, such and such does my hair, but I'm in there for five hours, six hours, seven hours, eight hours for, you know, why are you in there? Because she's always doing something else. She's talking on the phone, you know, you know, taking a lot of breaks, but the person that is getting the service done at that moment is the most important person to you. That is your customer. So that's why you gotta block off time for for being a salon owner and a stylist. It's two different things. Thank you for taking this quick four minutes with me to go over that. It's really just a message out there for all the hairstylists that wanna be salon owners and the salon owners out there that are frustrated that they can't turn the corner of everything Thank you for taking time to listen. See you next time.